the meat shop. We we're gonna learn something today about cutting cows. Welcome back, America. All right, there's a small fry for you. side of beef. This is one that uh, the owner, our father, raised in the barn. As you're looking at a half of beef, you've got up here, this is the front shoulder. This is where your chuck, your pot roasts come from. We also break it down with the four muscles that are, uh, we take the chuck eye out, the Denver out, the Vegas, and the flat iron, which are four really nice steaks that you can get from there. Then you've got over here the front shoulder, which is like your tricep. This is where your Boston comes from, which is another nice roast or your ranch steak, brisket, and then as you go down the backbone, you've got your rib, your short loin, which is your T-bones and porterhouses, sirloin, your rump, and then your round up there. All these ones with the backbone in them, this is like your prime steak section. All of these. This is where your rib steaks come from, your prime rib, you've got your strip steaks or your porterhouses, T-bones, sirloins. These are, this is like the money-making section your cow. And then on the inside, underneath the suet, is the tempo comes up here, your psoas major. So we're just going to break her down. I like to call it the current school for butchery and invented meat cutting techniques. I've had one official graduate so far. So right now I'm just going to take off this Boston and arm. And if you look in here, this muscle is the Terrace Major, which is a nice little steak. I just try to go around that when I'm breaking this off. Which again, might not be the way that everybody else does it, but once you get to the shoulder, this is the start of the scapula there. You got all those tendons to get through. And that'll drop down. And it just comes right out. I like this little steak. It's really good to marinate and grill and chop it up and put it on a salad or something. Terrace major. And this triangle piece right here is the brisket, which is good for roasting, smoking. Uh, you can corn it. You can it. with it. You can grill it low and slow. You can cut it up for stew. Chuck off, put the saw, right to the saw. Stay there for here. So now I'm going to take the rib, which is this section here, and the plate off, which is here. I count eight down from the top, which leaves me one rib on the short loin, and that leaves me seven for the rib. We do a seven rib, rib around here. there on a seam which is well what I call it it's where two muscles are laying together on top of each other there's a little seam of tissue this is the swimming tip also called the knuckle come down the face of that femur and it cuts a little bit crisscrossing grain in there. Yeah. We don't usually suggest people save it for much other than stew or cube steak or burger. Unless you like chewing stuff a lot or running it over with a truck before you cook it. I left this on here 
when I broke it because this side of it right here, underneath that fascia is the low steak, which is not a well-known one, but it is a pretty good one. I will get it off without dropping it on the floor. Extreme heat. Crosscut shanks uh, are good for soup, so I'll save a few of those. Knuckles and marrow, good for bone broth or for your dog. I want to give them a treat. I'm just going to break this stuff down a little smaller, work really fast, real quick. Uh, it could go viral on YouTube, blindfolded meat cutting, especially if you cut your finger. <laughs> Only once we talked about that in the last video. I'm just pulling off the backbone right now. I'm just getting dead the nub. Dead the nub is on this finger. Yeah. Is that the most interesting thing about me at this moment? Cut it with the bone in for around one shoulder most. Oh, uh, rump? No, around one shoulder. The rump is on the other end of the cow. Oh. These culottes, these are the real supermodels. I feel like I would be pretty good meat-cutting talk show personality from the sirloin. 